Hey everyone, you might have seen the recent controversies regarding my YouTube channel. Yes, indeed, it's so sad and I... I'm so sad and I feel like I need to address this for everyone. That is right, the emotional support demon is now back in stock permanently. And I am so very sad that you haven't picked one up yet. Boo, I apologize for not making sure it's available soon or something like that. Yeah, that's my apology. So anyway, pick up your own emotional support demon. It's very cute and it's back in stock permanently on makeship.com. Yes, indeed, so go pick it up today. It's absolutely amazing. We are actually the first campaign ever with makeship to be available permanently in stock. So thank you all so much for your support. Man, I love this community. It's so fun. I can't wait to be a full-time professional plushioneer. Speaking of being a full-time professional, no good doer. Today we're gonna look at r slash hole up, which is a beautiful subreddit full of hole up moment and surprise things, isn't that right? If you were to plot a graph about a hole up moment, it would be like, no concern, no concern, no concern. And that's what we're gonna do here today. Enjoy. Mwah. And I, I'm like, I, I'm distracting myself in like my, my camera screen because I look like I'm really crying. <laughs> These memes are so funny, man. <laughs> hey. Guys only want one thing and it's disgusting. How much to let me win an argument? 100. Get in. For $50 more, I won't tell you how to drive. <gasps> Every year I have to go to your family's house for the holidays. I want to spend the holidays in my house for a change. Is that so much to ask? You're right, baby. I'm sorry. Wow, you're good. Oh my god. Oh, that beats any kind of zenith of experience. Oh my, yes. Yes, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I right, fellow bros? <laughs> That's really funny though. Shout out to Ivan Javier. That's that's really funny. That's a good skit. I love that. You want to travel so bad that you didn't notice this was a cake. Oh my god, it's a cake. Now I just completely expect one of those videos when I show up to resort and they just cut the whole resort in half and be like, it was cake all along. And I'm like, but, but my vacation. In the beginning, I was like, what the frick is this guy doing? But then it all made sense. Okay, he's doing some little weird half jogging workout routine. All right, got up. Gotta stop and keep go- Why did I expect anything- anything more? <laughs> you can't expect less. Although one thing, one thing that just struck me. How did he know? How did he know this girl was coming up behind him? That's like the wildest part. How did he actually know? Told my Italian housemate a gangbang was when you go out with your friends. So she Facebooked this. Pre-gangbang selfie with the house hashtag lads. <laughs> Why would you do Did anyone actually like the picture? No! He's cutting down a bit of palm tree- Wait, what's the guy on the ground doing? <laughs> do they just have a token emotional support worker that just frolics around to make the workplace better? Oh my god, if I ever expand this whole thing into a proper office, I am gonna hire someone like this. I'm gonna hire my emotional support frolic employee that just goes around and his whole job is just to be a vibe around the office. Hey, you there by the cough machine, looking good, Steve! <laughs> and it just makes everyone happy. I need this, I need this. Can, they be a, can this be a role in regular offices? I would take that role instantly. I would do it mediocrely. If you see a close down church's chicken, you are somewhere you don't need to be. A uh, context for us who don't know what the frick church's chicken is? So imagine a fast food restaurant that only has locations in the bad parts of town. Now imagine how bad things are if they shut down. If they uh, only have locations in the bad parts of town and they close a location, does that mean it's no longer a bad part of town? No, it means it's a really bad part of town. Aww. That's a shame. I was hoping for like the wholesome twist there, but it never came. <laughs> hey, you gotta come check this out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, that's. Oh no, I'm floating! <laughs> Witchcraft! <laughs> Who are you? You what? should really lock your windows. What? What? No! This has been a public service announcement. Lock those windows. What's with like the fourth wall break and the camera stare? That's even creepier than the scene. <laughs> Remember, lock your windows. I'm coming for you. 
You see, this is what hole-ups are all about. Let me see that curve again. Yes, indeed. See, hole-up is actually an accurate science. You can get a master's in hole-ups. A criminal life hack. Wear extra fingers so photo slash video evidence will be inadmissible as it will appear to be AI generated. This? This is actually kind of smart. You can do the same thing with other things too. Imagine you want to send like a little nude photo to like a little spicy companion, if you will, and you just have like a hand somewhere on like a thigh or holding some specific organ or something like that. Just add this finger. And if they ever get leaked, you're like, sorry, everyone, sorry to disappoint. This is real. It's AI generated. Look at all the fingers. <laughs> Got him. There's always a better deal. You just gotta look close enough. Okay, Last month, yeah. I had a wedding in Denver, but uh, it's ski season. Man. Flights are crazy, right? It's cheaper to fly to LA. So I book yeah. that. Flight takes off, a couple hours in, looking out the window, see the Rocky Mountains. What do I do? Myself. Start jerking off. Man, it was mayhem. Women were screaming, kids were crying. <laughs> Everyone had their phones out. Whites, blacks, Latinos. They all wanted to see the action. The stewardess begged me to stop, but I pretended to be deaf. Pilot had no choice <laughs> but to make an emergency landing in, you guessed it, Denver, Colorado. Wow! Sure. Spent the night in jail, and now I'm on some stupid list. But I saved $142 on my flight. There is always a better deal. <laughs> always. It only works once, I guess, because then you're on the no-fly list. I actually read somewhere that pooping yourself on a plane can be a legitimate reason for an emergency landing because it becomes a question of, like, public health. So, so sometimes, if it gets bad enough, you actually have to make an emergency landing if someone just poops themselves bad enough. That is absolutely wild. A mother finds out her son's bride is her long-lost daughter on their wedding day after spotting birthmark on her hand. Oh, uh, but marriage goes ahead because the groom had been adopted. Ah! I do love myself some double hole-ups. Fiancé got promoted to step bro. <laughs> the mother. Today I lose a son, but I gain a daughter. Literally. <laughs> I now pronounce you stepbrother and stepsister. You may kiss the stepsister. <laughs> All right, you've just plunged your dagger into his brain, so you're stabbing and okay. stabbing. Okay, got a little right, bit of go green ahead, screen Bobby. goblin action okay. or something. All right. Like this? Yeah, perfect. Keep it going. Okay. Now a demon is attacking you right next to your head. Okay, on the right side. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a demon. <laughs> All right, and the demon. All right, you're stabbing both of them. <laughs> this is hard. Doing great. Okay, now a second demon is attacking you Duh. on either side of your head. Yes. You're stabbing both of them. Quickly, yeah, stab those you. demons using your hard tools. <laughs> All right, and cut. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> What's this? Good, good, uh, okay. Now you've just been shot in the back by a cave troll's arrow. All right, arch your back. A little more. All right, and another one. And another one. Yeah, you're really getting pounded. All right, keep arching your back. Oh no, the little demons are back. They're back, yeah, on either side and you're stabbing them, but you're still getting, you're getting hit by those arrows. Oh no, the demons are bleeding. No, 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 remember, demon blood is good. It gives you health points. So open your mouth. Yeah, drink as much as you can. Drink them both, demons. You're creating an energy sphere to save yourself. Cup it in your palm. Uh-huh. Very good. Fingers around, help it grow. You're molding. You know the absolutely funniest twist about this is if it actually is a little fantasy movie, right? And you see the finalized product and it's actually just some goblin just stabbing demons and then getting shot in the back with arrows. And it all looks like absolutely fine. The whole recording was just an innuendo. That's like the double hole up twist I want. Gandhi came to London in 1888. Jack the Ripper started his killing spree in 1888. Gandhi returned to India in 1891. Jack's supposedly last murder was in 1891 as well. Jack's identity was never find out. Jerry will be back tomorrow with more disturbing facts. You see, everyone, it's very important to differentiate between correlation and causation. And if the internet is to believe everything, is a causation. Every single thing. Everything cost everything. Uh, welcome to <laughs> Click Academy Evil version. <laughs> I wonder if people would pick up on that. Should I do that for like, you know, April Fools or something? I just have a Click Academy that is just grossly incorrect. Or will enough people actually still believe it that that is just a bad idea? <laughs> is this just my villain arc to becoming a crappy TikTok prankster? <laughs>
<laughs> oh no. That is a 300 foot tall QR code made of nothing but drones. That is cool. And the QR is just a joke. And what is happening afterwards? We are going to do something special. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Out of all like the bad pranks and stuff I see around nowadays and the TikTok trends, this is like one of the pranks that I really enjoy because it's just funny and you realize that you got got but it didn't actually hurt anyone. It's just kind of a funny prank. I like this. This has my approval. Hell yeah. I used to pick up prostitutes and have them change clothes. I would take them to a swinger party so I could do some dude's wife while he did a street walker and there's an Among Us toothpaste. Okay, r slash legal advice. Is it illegal to sunbathe naked on my property? So I want to sunbathe naked in my backyard. However, there are roofers working on my neighbor's roof. I am legally a minor. Does it count as indecent exposure if the roofers can see me? Uh, legality aside, why aren't you worried the roofers would be snapping cell phone pics of you to use in their spank bank for later? Or worse, distribute online? Because if they want to do it to overweight boys, that's their problem, not mine. This could kind of be a social experiment, I think. That, you know, people assume something from a text when it's really not. It's kind of like a funny troll backwards reverse thing. But I wonder how often that actually happens. That you assume someone looks or am a certain way because of the questions they ask, you know? That's kind of interesting how presumptions paint the picture before you even have the information. The Simpsons did it again. It's just the Apple glasses. Oh my god, or is it Apple Vision? Something like that. It's ex... Simpsons predicted it again? Oh my god. This is really what it's like, though. This is gonna be our future. You know, Pokemon Go was the first step towards living in a virtual reality, kind of. Or a semi-virtual reality. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, I love apocalyptic predictions. Very cool. Yeah, look at this! Here it is! They predicted the whole thing! It's exactly the same! They even got the cable right! The only thing that is off is the color of the actual glasses. That's the only thing. Everything else is identical. That is so good. That is so good. One thing that I find really funny with the whole like Simpson predicted it meme is that they have produced so many episodes regarding so many things that it's kind of like very statistically likely that some of the things they predict will actually end up being accurate. Because the things they don't predict, you won't even pay attention to, you know? So if you have a thousand episodes that are all talking about something that might happen in the future, if only like 30 of those predict something major, then people are gonna be like, oh my god, Simpson predicted it. It's really funny. I love that. I love that stuff. I have never seen an Asian before. What? North Korea has a village just for them. But it's North Korea, so okay. Or it was China, I forget which. Anyway, it's a tourist destination. What? Edit. It's both. China has a tourist dwarf theme park for people to gawk at. North Korea had a dwarf village, but they did North Korea things, so it's empty now. North Korea things? Bruh, what the- Oh my god, this is like those those fun facts of the world that you, you can certainly live without. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh my god! I mean, sounds roughly in line with, like, North Korean ethics, doesn't it? Like, oh my god, let's make a zoo with people in it. Now you think your truck is totally sick, but this is what I think of your precious 4x4 hang out all day with your stupid friends. Oh, there's some 2008 like crazy girlfriend vibes. Oh, there goes his car. <laughs> okay. That's not very old. Oh, she's very excited. They need to keep doing ads like this! That's so good! I love how they capture the 2008 crazy girlfriend meme era. This is so beautiful! Why are ads so corporate and cold nowadays when you could do this? Everything could just be memes. That would be so good. Sleep for 8 hours or work for 8 hours! That's only 14 hours of 24! You still have 10 hours to cook amazing meals, work out, learn a language, and walk on the beach! Time is not the issue! Yeah, if I had only spent a few of those hours learning math, then we wouldn't be here! Now would we? And then, of course, you forget the two hours of commuting every day, the hour of cooking dinner, the hour of crying in the shower, you know? Those hours add up as well, fam. You know, it goes away really fast. Imagine how much we were able to do if we didn't have to sleep. My god, that would be so nice. I would probably just play video games online, honestly. I wouldn't get anything good done anyway, and I would just procrastinate everything, and my house would still be a mess. But, you know, you know, it's the thought that counts. The thunk that matters. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? How to have a successful conversation with the woman one-on-one. Is there something I should be looking for? 
Um, oh, we have a lot of books, so mm. maybe it depends on what you like. Mm-hmm. What do you like? Oh, smooth. We have a great um, section of do it yourself. Do you like to do it yourself? <laughs> okay. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the mood strikes. <laughs> How is the mood striking you now? What's your name? You said nothing because you found me best. I would have thought you were doing that for years. Oh, then. should I have asked her out? No, no, that's the key. You wait for it to grow into a plant and then you the plant. <laughs> The thing I love about this, like now, I don't, I don't know, this movie was probably made like 15 years ago, right? So, <laughs> in, nowadays, this would probably be used as like a legitimate source material for like pickup artistry. This is how you actually talk to women. My source? A movie that has a literal script. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be honest though, I would bet money that if you go up to like uh, anyone in a store and be like... Do you like doing it yourself? Most of the times you would just have security called on you, right? That's that's typically how this would progress. A Dublin, Ireland. A man injected his own splooshies to treat back pain. Where did he get this idea from? Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me guess. Let me guess before I keep reading if it even goes into detail. It's something something about seeing some clickbaity article about something something stem cells and being like, Oh my god, stem that must mean so I'll inject this into my own leg or whatever. I think that's the logic they probably applied with like absolutely no advising from any medical professional. Anyway, let's keep reading, shall we? A man injected his own splooshies into his body for a year and a half in an attempt to treat back pain. The 33-year-old developed a pocket of pus on his right arm as a result of the injection. Who would have thunk it? Oh my god! Which he started after injuring his back while picking up a heavy object, a study said. He had injected one monthly dose of splooshies for 18 consecutive months. This makes me feel really, you know when you feel like stuff is crawling underneath your skin? That's how I'm feeling right now. The study said, adding, he had devised this cure independent of medical advice. No shit! That must have been the logic, right? There must have been something like, you know, yeah, stem cells, that kind of thing, and, and this is where cells form or something like that, so that must be the... Let's just, let's just do... This sounds great. Ooh, I haven't had some crappy ads on the channel for a while. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, it, it kind of goes in the direction I was expecting. Why is the player a caveman? What, what, now it's your turn. Do you want to remove the bra first? Or do you want to remove the undies that for some reason don't look like the same undies in the square that you can click? That is a very severe inconsistency error. One thing that fascinates me with crappy ads, especially in the mobile game industry, is that it has to work, right? At least to some extent, because otherwise it wouldn't be so normal now and they wouldn't keep doing it. I'm just a bit like surprised which target demographic this would be. I'm guessing this would target like kids on their parents' phones because they download something that looks like, you know, oh, this is exciting and forbidden, and then they just cash out with their mom's credit card, kind of. Is that the demographic they're after? That's pretty bad. Untold truth. In 2010, Tokyo government officials went to congratulate the oldest man in the city on his 111th birthday, but instead found a skeleton on his bed. He had been dead for 30 years, but his family were still taking in his pension money. Ooh, yeah, you know those scams when people keep having kids, but fake kids, just to get, like, support, and it's like you have a lot of children, but they don't really exist? You know, you can, you can do that as well, just <laughs> have enough old relatives, and don't actually, don't actually report that they passed away. And you can create a whole scheme, a whole generational scheme, and it's like, oh, gee, where's your grandpa, Timmy? He's supposed to turn 250 this year. He's been getting retirement since, since 1914. I'm going steady, and I French kiss. Oh. So everybody does that. Yeah, but daddy says I'm the best at it. Mmm, does, mm, does, mm, does this mean that... This can mean two different things, and one is definitely worse than the other. Alright, one is definitely worse than the other. Oh my. We are so back! CNN, giant kites could pull cargo ships across the ocean and slash their carbon emissions. Giant... Giant kite, you mean sails. You're talking about sails. We really did come full circle, didn't we? 
One really interesting thing, though, when it comes to shipping across the globe is that cargo ships are incredibly efficient when it comes to emissions per kilogram of cargo loaded. It, it doesn't feel like it because you see these massive ships, you know, just spewing out smoke and stuff. But because they transport such incredible amounts, they're actually one of the most effective ways to transport things that we have. It, it feels odd, but it's really hard to, to get lower. So uh, and also sales. I mean, weather is kind of a thing, I guess. Maybe you could effectivize it slightly, but I don't know, man. I would probably focus on other solutions if I were to be honest. This doesn't sound like it would actually make a big uh, consistent difference. That's a good little lump right there. Oh, wait, there's a feather. There's a... <gasps> it's so adorable. Oh, my God, I want one. I want one. Oh, my God, I want a snuggle owl. Look how cute that is. It's like, what? A piece of my body fell off? Scandal human, why are you still in pieces of my body? It's so cute, though. How is this a hole up? This is cute and wholesome. Or maybe it's a hole up for the owl. I think maybe that's the whole point, that the owl is like, that it fell out and now you're scratching me with my own missing body piece. That is so cute. Imagine if you did the same to a human. You know, you just, you just cut your nails and then your partner comes into the room and starts scratching yourself with your own cut off nails. I guess that would sort of be an equivalent to this, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're welcome. Allow that picture to live rent-free in your head for the next couple of years. <laughs> Woo! Brins Harry and his mother Diana's riding instructor. Oh my. Jennifer, 26. Proud mother of three children. Virgin. Love my husband. And I'm a lesbian. Mmm. This is satire, right? <laughs> this is satire. I mean, this could all just be replaced with, like, have a sense of humor. <laughs> It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. It's like three hole-ups in a row. Hell yeah. Yeah, I have a question for the, the gay guy over there, or the guy that does his cousin. No. Anyway, <laughs> what do you guys do in West Virginia to pick up chicks? I mean, where do you guys go? Uh, family reunions? Oh, it's funny. You look like you and your parents slept together, too. Oh! <laughs> what? That's not... Oh! Yeah, his parents That's... probably did sleep together. That's... <laughs> in fact, I have a confession. <laughs> My parents slept together. It's so stupid that the burn works just because he says it like so fast and and with the confidence It's like, okay. Well, you're you're doing your own cousin. That's not good Well, to be fair even your own parents slept together speaking about doing it with family But it's not it's not supposed to it's not a va it's not supposed to be a valid comeback <laughs> Why did this work? If you're offered $50,000, but if you accept it, the person you hate most in the entire world gets $100,000. Are you taking it? Yes. Why wouldn't I want $150,000? Are you okay, man? Mother, 26, daughter, 13. Father? <laughs> Wait, how does that... How does that math... No, that's, that's not good math. That's, oh God, no, 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 no! Is this no? Finally, some children without cell phones. So oh, look at that, just children living in the moment. Guys will see this and just say, "Hell yeah!" It's uh, it's apple juice. Hell yeah! Well, yes and no. It's apple juice with carbonated water. Google translates Apfelschorle. Oh, Charlotte, it's so good. Oh, I love that. When I go hiking in like Central Europe, Apfelschorle is the best thing ever. It's so good. Meet my husband, sis. 15-year-old Alice Jane McHenry, whose upside-down stomach moved her into the headlines. That reminds me of a South Park episode. Shows off her husband, William Bile 23, to her ailing sister, Mrs. Jean Vicker in Chicago. Wait a sec- wait, wait, hold, hold on, 15-year-old and 23-year-old husband? An upside-down stomach? There are so many things here that- Uh, mm-hmm. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, Signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. Uh -huh. A certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's neck? <gasps> oh no. Bastardi. You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing. You want my children? Take them. I have the instrument to make more. <laughs> I just imagine the children being off to the side be like, what the f***, mom? <laughs> it's so good. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Kill my kids for all I care. I can always make more. Ah. You know how we always talk about renewable sources of energy? How about renewable sources of children? Children are biodegradable. 
condoms are not make more children today. Don't actually listen to me, okay? <laughs> the sooner you advertise here, the better. The sooner you advertise here, the better. The sooner you advertise here, the better. It's all in the music. Phew. Oh, thanks, Radio 2. That is so good. That is so good. <laughs> oh, I have seen this lamp before. The makers of this had to have known, man. Come on. Hmm. What the frick is wrong with sushi? Ugh, you pay $40 for some fish, and they deliver it raw, and you have to cook it yourself anyway. Oh my god. It's a scam. They just ship you raw stuff. Disgusting. She wants the silverback to father her children. She's just come into season, and she has only a couple of days when she's fertile. There's no time to waste, but she's going to have to work hard to get his attention. She stares at him, a brazenly flirtatious <laughs> act in itself. She tightens her lips into a smile and gazes straight into his eyes. <laughs> oh, the flirtation! <laughs> I've always, I've always said that's a, that's a very safe bet for flirtatiousness, and it works in any gender direction, so to say. All you do is slowly turn around and just, like, look deep into their eyes and give them a little smile, you know? That will show them that you're a very positive and wholesome person, and you're very breedable, all right? Uh, my, my teacher wild in with this question. Question of the day! Happy Black History Month! Would you pick cotton for $200 an hour? What the f- <laughs> What? Wait, wait! What is it? <laughs> $200 an hour. That's really good compensation. Now you're reaching like, you know, freaking lawyer compensation hours or something. Hell yeah, but why is the context for me? Why? We got a D. Oh, that's not very. Ooh, okay, change that to a four. Oh, that's very smooth. Oh, that's very smooth. Oh my god. Oh, very good. As long as you can clone your teacher's handwriting a bit. Like, hell yeah. That is really good. <laughs> that looks so legit. That time, Paris Hilton kissed a woman's belly thinking she was pregnant. But she wasn't. Oh. Oh, I just felt some, like, really heavy cringe up my spine. Okay, let's say she was pregnant. Why are you kissing a random person's belly button? Pregante. Pregangenant? Pregangenant? Pegargant. How Bobby form? Oh, that brings me back. I, I sort of miss those videos. Like 2017 meme reading videos. Oh, those were the times, man. Those were the times. What is the dumbest reason why someone at your workplace got fired? The guy tried to hit on the girl that helped us clean after closing time by inviting her to the back for some fun times. Just me and you, baby. Girl was 15 years old and the daughter of the owner. Oh my- br ah! Well, maybe in a way it's good because he busted himself really, like, openly and directly, so I guess that's good in one way. If you're gonna be a weird creep, at least get caught fast, I guess. What the hell? So you slept on the floor all night. Yeah. Why didn't you sleep in the bed? What bed? No. <laughs> No! Oh my god! Oh, you're a loser! <laughs> <laughs> I was curious what this was last night, but I didn't even look. Oh my god! I feel like we have all done this at some point. Where, like, your brain doesn't really brain, or you're too tired, and you just go and do something, and you realize eight hours later that, huh, I didn't actually have to sleep on the floor. Who would have thunk it? Wanna know how to turn a sphere inside out? Sure. Ooh, I know those characters. I don't know the reference. I'm not sure if I want to. Oh, hey, this next meme looks wholesome and cute. Trojan condoms pre-owned, triple washed and sanitized just like new. That was the next wholesome meme. All right, let's, what about the next one? Celebrities and rich people leaving the Super Bowl in their private jets while everyone else is drinking from paper straws. Yippee! But you see, that's the real leading cause of it. It's paper straws. Just <laughs> ignore all those private jets. Have you ever seen a turtle choking on a private jet? Huh? I didn't think so. Checkmate. 
I just visited a physics PhD student at Harvard University, one of the smartest people in the world. Here is their bedroom. That's kind of sad. Why is there a big stick? <laughs> okay, get a proper bed, but I can respect a stick. I respect the stick. That's a vibe. Made 20k in three hours as a live e-girl gamer. Here is how, boys. That is a lot of good makeup action. The nose also did a lot of carrying, gonna be honest. The nose did a lot. That is really well-made makeup. <laughs> maybe I should just work on becoming an e-girl. Or maybe I should just get that maid dress I've been promising for a while. I've been trying to like buff up a little bit and do like a really cool photo shoot in a maid dress. I'm thinking about something in the forest with like an axe and a cigar. You know, like a Wolverine photo shoot, but in a maid dress. That'd be really cool. I would love to do that, you know? That's my goals. <laughs> my workout aspirations involve... <laughs> Masculine maid dress photo shoots. <laughs> hey, honey, look at those poor orphans. Uh, we'll take the rat. <laughs> Freaking children movies plots, man. All right, when you go to the grocery store, I need to know this in the comments, by the way. This is a very important empirical study. When you go to the grocery store to pick up some milk, do you pick the femboy milk or the tomboy milk? The hardest choices require the strongest wills. Let me know in the comments. I'm trying to... It's for science. How is it 2023 and nobody's come up with a satisfying explanation as to why cell phones never show up in our dreams if we're using them for 12 hours a day? One interesting thing I have realized with dreams is that, for example, if I play the crap out of a video game, I sometimes dream about the video game, but I don't dream about the computer itself. It's kind of interesting. So you dream about the thing you played, but not like the, the middle man, so to say, that would be the device you played it on. It's kind of weird. Maybe dreams just don't comprehend that many steps of of simulated reality. Oh, maybe that's proof that the world is actually simulated. Our dreams are programmed so they can't imagine simulated universes because it will bust the matrix. New conspiracy unlocked. Okay, we got Kimmy Wimmy. Oh, that... Oh, the... Okay, um... Oh. What is... What... Is this just becoming like a ball sack? Is that what... No, it's Pikachu! It's Pikachu! Oh my god, that's so cursed. That is so ugly. I need to do more cursed Photoshop streams. It's always so funny. It's always so- I haven't done one of those in like a year. I completely forgot about it. Let's do it. Check out my upcoming cursed Photoshop stream. I'll probably do it soon, I hope. This is Richard. He brought everyone in our French class chocolates and a card because he didn't want anyone to feel left out on Valentine's Day. We need more people like Richard. Ugh, nobody likes you, R. Aw. That's so sweet. Yes, indeed. Harden you for <laughs> for the real adult life. Boss. Would you still employ me if I was a worm? I am currently away. Please send emergency if it's urgent. Uh, emergency! Are you f kidding me? That's a good way to get fired. I love the <laughs> I love the worm spin-off memes. It's so good. Would you still love me if I was a worm? Uh no. Ah! <laughs> Okay, we got a bit of prank action going on, spraying some dude, all right? Go, bro, go! Go! <laughs> the actual look of betrayal! The car door just yeeted off! Oh! Okay, I think that's probably staged, you know? You, you, would, you, you would probably have a car door that actually attaches if it was real, but, you know, it's very funny. We need to normalize this. If your friend is an annoying TikTok prankster, normalize not being their getaway driver! <laughs> Uh, I just saw my mechanic and his whole family going to church in my car. That has some interesting implications. And it's also the thing like going to church. Oh, that's so... Yeah, that's a vibe, isn't it? That, that's a feeling. I was today years old when I realized that the caps on medicine bottles actually are serving sizes. I, uh, I use this method with Adderall and I'm currently cutting my grass with scissors. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's... Is that accurate across the board? If I just like think about my vitamin bottles, I don't think it is. <laughs> hey, whoops. Oh, we got some cinema action, no mobile phones. Okay. Uh, no okay. talking or toddlers. <laughs> okay, just murder. Oh, my. Oh, ooh, okay. Uh, please be considerate. No massacre. Please be considerate or we will literally murder you. Thank you. 
I wonder what the approval rate of that would be. Imagine if you had, for example, a political party that said that cinemas will now <laughs> have the right to just execute people if they are, for example, movie talkers. <laughs> what do you think the approval rate in a poll like that would be? I think it would be pretty high, honestly. <laughs> Knock-off Chinese clothing is so funny, especially since they have no idea what it's saying. Nuke Iraq. Just do it. <laughs> the fact that no one just like checked. Oh, oh my god. I mean, I've seen some some cursed things over the years, but is this is this real? I think this takes some sort of cake. These bags have a flower on them. I think it's flour. Yeah. And it came because it's spelled the same way. For measuring ingredients. Ah. Let's bake. Yes. Ready. My god, we're about to get they so look baked. Like recess cups. Yippee! The neighbors said they're like crack. Yeah. I should start a business. <laughs> oh my god, it's more. literally like crack. I need uh -huh. to eat these every 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone wants to take my muffins from me. I can hear them talking in the wall. <laughs> it really escalated. It went from like Oh, that's not a good one to, like, a slight handshaking while eating to, like, I'm gonna tear my walls down because there are people in it trying to steal my cookies! I mean, this is unironically what they used to do in Coca-Cola. That's what- that's where the coca comes from. It comes from cocaine. <laughs> Fun facts of the day. What? All you all think smoking kills? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know that the amount of people dying from diabetes are three times as many people dying from smoking? Oh. Yet if I pulled a snicker bar, nobody would say anything. That's a weird direction. Okay. You know the leading cause of lung cancer is that actually a cigarette? It's your DNA. You could smoke for years and nothing will ever happen to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> this whole war against smoking is just to restrict the farming of tobacco. I use these arguments, even though I just made them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's the there's the first hole up. And the results, five of them believed what I said. Two of them started smoking. What? Words, when said and articulated in the right way, can change someone's mind. Actually, that's a really good point. It sounded like a really bad direction at first. I was like, oh my god, is this really some dude trying to claim that smoking isn't bad because, you know, you, you can compare anything. It's like, oh my god, we have uh, fewer people dying in car crashes than of uh, than of heart disease, so so therefore you don't need a seat belt, you know, stuff like that. You can always compare wild statistics and, and just make them show kind of what you want because it's so biased. But that's actually a really good point. I had this exact conversation with a senior marketing manager uh, a few years ago, and he said the same thing, that his experience in working corporate or like trying to convince people with sales pitches and stuff is oftentimes that a concise but very flashy looking PowerPoint that is like maybe sort of correct will actually convince more people than a boring PowerPoint that has all the facts right. The presentation alone is actually what convinces people. There is a reason why you have so many people that talk loudly and are kind of charismatic in politics, for example. You don't have mathematicians that actually, you know, go into through the numbers because people don't want to listen to that. That's sort of how it goes. Charisma sells a lot. Uh, good to know, and it's also a little bit scary. Welcome to the Frick Batman Club, where we all collectively hate Batman. Before we start, I would like to welcome our newest members. Ah, uh, I, I, I think we might have misunderstood. Ish, aren't there like episodes and stuff though where Harley Quinn has also been down in the biz with the bat? You know, I just remember that cartoon scene when Batman is all like, uh, all like tied up, so to say, and it's like Cheetah, I think. And he's like, you just look like a woman who was very passionate about her project and science. And she's like, mm, you really know how to talk to women. And they just have like a makeup session when he's like a hostage or whatever. Batman really has some riz, I'm gonna be honest. Employee handbook. This is a really trashy looking handbook. Anyway, sick days. We will no longer accept the doctor's statement as proof of sickness. If you're able to go to the doctor, you're able to come to work. <laughs> yeah, but like... What if something is contagious, though? You know? I've also find that to be a really stupid system sometimes. I remember one time, it was pre-COVID, and I was missing a flight. I couldn't go skiing because I had the flu. So I literally had to go to the doctor, risk getting everyone else in the waiting room sick with the flu, just so I could go there and then be like, yeah, you have a really high fever. I'm gonna give you a note for the, so you can get the airplane tickets back. It's like, 
Fa the system is so dumb. Personal days. Each employee will receive 104 personal days a year. They are called Saturdays and Sundays. <sighs> lunch break. Skinny people get 30 minutes for lunch. <laughs> Is this actually real? I think we've already broken two or three laws regarding employment, and now we're getting into, like, discrimination territory. The skinny people get 30 minutes for lunch as they need to eat more, so they can look healthy. Normal-sized people get 15 minutes for lunch to get a balanced meal to maintain their average figure, and fat people get 5 minutes for lunch because that's all the time needed to drink a slim fast. This can't be real. This can't be real, right? They've already broken, like, four rules, including discrimination laws. Dress code. It is advised that you come to work dressed according to your salary. If we see you wearing $350 Prada sneakers and carrying a $600 Gucci bag, we assume you're doing well financially and therefore do not need a raise. How do you how do you assume they're doing well financially? Are you assuming they have more jobs than yours? You know what they make, don't you? What? If you dress poorly, you need to learn to manage your money better. So you may buy nicer clothes and therefore you do not need a raise. Mm, I see, that's very convenient. Then then it doesn't matter how you dress, though. It literally doesn't matter, so the dress code is just bunk. If you dress in between, you are right where you need to be and therefore do not need a race. Yeah, okay, so dress code just doesn't matter, because all the consequences are the same. A bereavement leave. There is no excuse for missing work. There is nothing you can do for dead friends, relatives, or co-workers. You see, the thing about passing and life and that kind of stuff is that the dead don't care. But the company does. Be a great asset for the company. Great, great, great asset for the company. Great asset for the company. So <laughs> lethal company reference. Earlier. Restroom use. Entirely too much time is being spent in the restroom. There is now a strict three minute time in the stats. What? Does the doors just fly open? Do you push the button? And like, <laughs> <laughs> Your time for pooping is up, Steve. At the end of three minutes, an alarm will sound. The toilet paper roll will retract and the stall door will open. I called it. And a picture will be taken. After your second offense, your picture will be posted on the company bulletin board under the chronic offenders category. <laughs> this list is funny because I think it's breaking at least 12 laws. I'm going to assume this is not real. I'm going to be a millionaire before I'm 20 and this is how. I work for my dad's company. There's your answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Time saved 50 seconds. I love this dude. That's so good. I swear to God, though, if you actually got a dollar for every time you had someone give you a tip like this, you would unironically be a millionaire by now. The amount of times I've seen like some life hack article like, ooh, how to get rich when you're 21. Number one, inherit 10 houses. <laughs> Number two, become a landlord. <laughs> you see, anyone can do it. Your rap name is Little, plus the last reason you were in the hospital. I don't think why people should be doing this. All right, let's check the comments for the people that actually have a sense of humor. Little schizophrenia meds weren't working. A little schizophrenia goes kind of hard, though. Little working there. Mm. Little X-Ray. Your first album should be called See-Through. We have some banger ideas here. Little shampoo bottle up my butt. <laughs> little suspicious lump. Okay, that one, that one has a, doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Little colonoscopy. Ooh, that could be my rapper name. Little colonoscopy. That'd be good. <laughs> Blending into the curtains to see if my husband notices. Wait for it. Oh, I have seen this around Twitch. It's pretty funny. So the partner or friend of the streamer will like sneak into the background all painted and hide in the curtains or something. And you can kind of see... Yeah, look at that. You can kind of see something moving. But unless you're looking at it all the time, you won't like see it for real. Oh, <gasps> you can see the teeth. Okay. Hello? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awful. What that is heck? so awful. Oh my god, I would die. I would literally die. I'm too old for this stuff. Oh dear god. That is so funny though, because it literally plays on this thing where you can kind of see something in the corner of the eye, but not make it out, and then they stand still when you actually... No, that's so bad. That's so awful. That is so awful. 
2 plus 2 times 4, 16, 15, 14, 13, I don't know what stresses me out more, the fact that 26% somehow got 13, or the fact that the correct answer isn't even an option! Oh yeah, I like these kind of rage bait things, I may or may not have done a couple myself on Twitter and people were really angry about it. I was wondering if I was gonna get cancelled for a joke. You know, you never know with Twitter nowadays. Anyway, speaking of things that are actually wonderful, unlike Twitter or X, that just sounds like a questionable name for a platform. Thank you so much for vibing with me here in today's video. It was a pleasure having you here, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed having you here. Have an amazing rest of your day, because you do deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.